Okay, I am on day 106. Yes, that's it. I'm over my three month uh, anniversary with uh, Bell's Palsy. This is a beautiful picture taken of me. Oh, yuck. All right, this is a pic, this is a pic that was taken of me five days after diagnostic. And uh, as you can see, I look like I'm melting. I don't really have any control on my eye. And uh, it's just bad. It was bad. I stayed home. Uh, I stayed after diagnostic. I, I was able to stay home three weeks and just sleep and rest and take naps. And I think I never slept so much in one period of my life. So now this is the affected side. Uh, it's good. Uh, so hi, talking dog girl. Or, hi, talking dog. Uh, sorry for your Bell's palsy, but you're on a good road to recovery. I've been looking at all your videos and they're really good. And uh, even though if uh, I suggest, you know, even though in, in my videos, I suggested a site which helped me out a lot for the info, which uh, you should find the address like here. Uh, anyway, uh, it's always nice to see people, uh, see pictures and I'm glad to see that I'm not the only one on YouTube that's doing this because it's nice to see live people. I've been getting emails of people asking questions, so probably you too. So good instructional videos. You're absolutely right with your advice on the rest. Rest is very important. I don't know why, oddly enough, but uh, yeah, we just sleep, sleep, and you even feel tired. And when you're exhausted, it stretches out more and stuff like that. And being optimistic but hey your natural attitude is great so no problem there so you're on a good road to recovery um, one thing that um, I can suggest uh, that I didn't see in your videos and I didn't do in mine either and this probably would be good for anybody who has any type of temporary paralysis and they know that they're gonna recover um, is with the eye by the, uh, there's a name for it I don't know what I don't remember what's the name for it but uh, one thing you have to be careful about is uh, when you're exercising because you do have to exercise you know don't force yourself too much but do positions for like every five seconds but you've been on the World Wide Web so you've gotten your info uh, just probably for anybody who's gonna look for your videos or mines or whatever reference uh, when you're exercising closing your eye I, See, I still have some of it, but uh, at least I don't look like somebody that came out from the dentist anymore. Man, was I getting tired of that comment. Ugh. But uh, we we do have the reflex of looking up or, you know, our eye, our eye is going to roll when we close our eyes. So a good exercise to be sure that you know that your eye is closing completely is to look down and try to do it. Because I noticed on your video, even though you're just day 16, you're recovering really well up to now. Uh, your eye flickers up, so just uh, just a friendly advice, a suggestion, you know. But uh, I still do it, so I flicker on the side. <laughs> anyway, and uh, lubricate your eye, cream, eye drops, uh, eye patch. Uh, some people put a sticker, you know, like a medical type of sticker, not duct tape, because duct tape then you end up with no eyebrow. But um, even Saran wrap, you know, that sticky type type. Anyway. But uh, your videos are really good, so I'm glad there's people like us putting it up there because uh, when I look to myself for some Bell Palsy stuff, it's like, like I said, you know, it's like the forum where I was on the site is excellent. There's a lot of caring people there, but it's nice to see uh, videos like this. So uh, that's it. Take care, man, and don't forget to sleep, 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 sleep. Uh, me, my major improvements in 106 days are, mm, I'm smiling now. No, not that, that side. That's the good side. Ah, just that. Oh my gosh, that put me right up there. Whew. And um, closing the eyes. Mm, I can even squint. And I have my... My nostril, dead. Like this little region here, no feeling at all. But my t the taste is back in my mouth and stuff like that. And nobody recovers the same way with Bell's Palsy. Uh, there's some people with Bell's Palsy that recover in three weeks. Lucky them. Grrr. So anyway, you have up to 18 months to see 
how your nerves are going to reconnect. So that's it. Good road to recovery, man. And uh, I hope you're going to make some other videos. Then take care.